Hey everyone, I know it's been a minute. It's been almost a month and I was supposed to come back with an update on my CT scan and I wrote it up and I never did the video because I've been living my best life. <laughs> I've been doing a little bit of everything the past month and I have not felt like getting on YouTube and doing a video. So I apologize, but I am not sorry. <laughs> I am not sorry because I, uh, the one thing is when I do a video, when I do videos for you all, I want to be sincere and I want to want to do the video, you know? So when I'm not feeling it and I don't feel like doing a video, I don't feel like I can be genuine and come across in a way that I'm teaching you something and I'm enjoying it. I'm just like, I'm over it. So I needed a break. I I did. But I'm, I'm here to tell you what I've been doing. I'm, I'm going to give you a little life update, what's been going on. Nothing tragic, nothing crazy, but just kind of doing me, which I have a hard time just doing me because I'm always doing a thousand things. But I was just like, you know what? Nah, you're going to go rise and do some stuff. And so I've been going into the city. I've been going to see a lot of Broadway plays. And so I'm going to give you my synopsis on what I've seen and what I think of it. Now, before COVID, like I moved back to New York in 2019, 2019, 2018, end of 2018, I moved back to New York. And so before COVID, because COVID came around in 2020, like March-ish, February-ish. So before that, in between that time, I saw three plays. I saw A Soldier Story, I saw Lion King, and I saw Tina. I liked them all, you know. Lion King, of course, it was like amazing, but that goes without saying. But then, you know, there was that gap. We couldn't do anything. Broadway closed in New York, pretty much everything closed. And so here we are now, fast forward, and I'm trying to catch up on my Broadway plays because I love musicals, especially, I mean, I love Broadway, period, but I love musicals. And so I was just like, okay, we're going to go see some plays. Um, I don't know if you all know about it, but there's this program called TDF where you can get tickets if they show up on there. You can get tickets for like $57, but then there's various Broadway plays where you can just enter a lottery and win. Like when I saw Hades Town, it was because I entered a lottery and won. So I paid like $47 for the ticket and I was in the box. I was in the box that sits up in the corner and looks at the stage. I had a good seat. Definitely. And, um, I'm trying to think, what else did I see? Um, so Pontus, Potus, whatever they call it, it, that was on Broadway. I think it had Vanessa Williams in it. That um, we got through TDF as well. Cheap tickets and you get decent seats. The only thing is you don't know where you're going to sit at, but it's okay because you. I haven't had a bad seat yet. I haven't, I've been looking to, I've been like, uh oh, <laughs> where's this seat going to be? Am I going to be in the back, <laughs> you know, of the Dern Orchestra, of the balcony, you know? So, but I haven't had that encounter with the tickets at all. Um, TDF also is that booth in Times Square that tourists go to to try to get tickets for the same day or the next day. It's the same program, so this is the nonprofit side. That side, you know, you get discounts as well, but you have to go down there with this one. It's limited um, plays that are on the list that you can see. And you could also see Off-Broadway, too. So it's not just Broadway. It's Off-Broadway, too. It's concerts. It's a bunch of other stuff. I'm mostly focused on the Broadway stuff. But there are other things that you can see for cheap on TDF. So check it out. So anyway, this past month, I saw A Stranger Loop. I saw that yesterday, day before yesterday. I saw that, what's today? Friday. So I saw that Wednesday. I loved it. I loved it. The Broadway, like when I saw it on Tony's, on the Tony's when they sang, it it didn't do anything for me. But it's hard to pull a song out of a play, put it on the Tony's, and entice people to go see it. You know, make have it feel like it's enticing people to go see it. Because I didn't want to see a stranger loop when I saw that. I was like, what is this song? I saw the, heard the exact same song <laughs> on Broadway and loved it. And I was just like, wasn't this the same song they sang on the Tonys? So I don't trust the Tonys anymore to help me to decide what I'm going to see. You know, unless something just stands out like that. But A Stranger Loop was very good. I highly recommend it. Clearly, a lot of people are going to see it. I can see why it, it won its Tonys. It, it like 
covers so many different um, feelings, you know, and things that people in the LGBT plus community go through. It was just really, um, really good. It was a really good place. I, I advise you to go see that. Um, so Hades Town a couple of weeks ago, that was excellent. When I say excellent, excellent with a capital E, I loved it. I just, that play made me want to jump on the stage and start singing and dancing with them. I was like, this is why I was like, oh, I'm so glad I'm doing voiceover stuff now because this gets me back in that, this gets me in that realm, not back, but it gets me in that realm of um, voice acting. And um, yeah, I was, I was, I was really feeling it like that. It was such a good play, such a good play. Um, what else? What I'm trying to see from Come From Away. That was an excellent play, too. Um, it was about these people. I think it took place during 9-11 and these people were stranded and the plane was diverted to Canada. And so the people in Canada took care of them and until they could fly back to their respective places in the States. It was it was good. I just love musicals. If you sing the whole darn play, I'm good. <laughs> Some people don't like that. They like, you know, dramas. I'm OK with dramas. Like it was a good drama play, but I'm like, y'all need to sing a song or something. I'm like, I can't just have you talking. <laughs> I'll let like the August Wilson plays. Those are really good. They Those plays are so good. They don't have to sing about nothing because they're very captivating, you know, but everybody's play isn't like that. And I'm just like, could you start singing something? <laughs> so I'm more apt to go and see a play if there's, if it's a musical, but I will still go to see a regular, you know, drama or whatever, but I just love musicals. They just hit a spot in me, um, which is great. So I'm trying to look at my list here, see what I'm missing. So what's coming up, I'm going to see Book of Mormons next week. So I'm looking forward to that because I used to love South Park. They are so darn politically incorrect and I love it. <laughs> uh, I, I don't, haven't watched the cartoon in years, but I was like, I still, you know, I want to see that, you know, and it's been out for a while. But as I said, you know, I wasn't in New York for a while and then we had COVID. So trying to play catch ups. Now, on the other side of my list, I have the things that I want to see and I haven't seen yet. And a couple of them are older, like Phantom of the Opera. I know that's been out a thousand years, um, but there's like a black woman lead sing and is playing the lead. So I'm like, OK, I'm going to go see this. I, I want to see. And I've heard it from other people that it's really good. So. Um, and Andrew Lloyd Webber is really good with music, you know, some singing, you know, as I said, musicals, that's my thing. So I want to see that. Um, what else is there? Chicago. I've seen the TV show. I mean, seen the movie on TV, never thought about going to see the play. At least I don't think I saw it. No, because I always get it confused with cats for some reason. And I saw cats like a thousand years ago when I was still living in New York. And I don't know why I confuse those two movies when they absolutely have nothing to do with each other. But <laughs> so I put Chicago down because Jen Jennifer, um, what's her name? Oh my God, how did I forget her name? From Green Dream Girls. You know, they're saying um, Effie from Dream Girls. She's in, I don't know why I forgot her name, but she's in uh, in Chicago. She's singing in Chicago. So I was just like, oh, this, this may be good. So I put it on my list. Um, Death of a Salesman is coming out, hasn't come out yet. That has Wendell Pierce in it from The Wire. I, the Wire was my show and I love him. I love his character. So I was like, yeah, you know, I want to see this. Now, originally it was in London and now it is moving to Broadway. I think it's going to be great and I do want to see that. Into the Woods. I don't know why I never thought about going to see Into the Woods because, you know, Stephen Sarheim is like amazing and... I was like, I loved Wicked. So I was just like, why? Oh, I did. Did I put that on the list? I didn't. I don't think I told y'all I went to see Wicked. That was good too. Anyway, back to this. So Into the Woods, you know, I was just like, I think I want to see that. So I put that on my list and I actually entered the lottery to see if I win um, cheap tickets for that. But um, it's been out a while, if I'm not mistaken. So I think I'm, I'm probably going to go see that. Now I have a question mark next to Moulin Rouge. This lady that I was sitting next to at A Stranger Loop said that it was good. It's a musical, there's a lot of singing. But I think I wasn't intrigued by the movie. And that's why I was like, I don't know if I wanna see the musical because I think Nicole Kidman was in the, in the movie and I was like, I don't remember being bowled over by it. So, but Broadway is different, you know? So I put a question mark next to it, may see it. And um, last but not least, Piano player, piano lesson, piano player. Piano lesson has Samuel Jackson. 
I don't know how to feel about Samuel Jackson. You know, I like Samuel, but he's in a lot of stuff. Some things are good, some things aren't. I don't know what to expect from him. So, and I've never seen him perform on Broadway. Has he performed on Broadway? I don't even know if he's performed on Broadway, but I do want to see it. Now, I know Denzel's son is supposed to be in it too. I think his name is David. I can't remember his name, but he's supposed to be in it too. Um, I have never, and I know it sounds weird, as many really powerful, um, popular movies that he's been in, I haven't seen any of them. So maybe I should see that, see see some of the movies he's been, been in to see if I feel like I would want to see him on Broadway. I, I don't know, but it's on my list though. It's on my list. I kind of do want to see it, but it's not at the top of my want to see list. So I just wanted to let y'all know that I didn't forget you, but that I've been, you know, living my life and I've been helping my cousin with some stuff. And so I've been a little busy. <laughs> I've been a little busy. Um, I always stay busy. I'm starting my voiceover stuff and what else? Still learning about Scrum, my Scrum Master um, webinars I've been going to, which are great. So it's like a lot's been going on. And um, yeah, I did put the videos on hold and unexpectedly you know i had every intention on doing doing videos and i just was like it's summertime <laughs> you know because people don't realize youtube videos take a lot of work if you don't do youtube you don't understand how much goes into not only recording but editing doing the pictures and the all of that that you know the thumbnails that that's that's work that's that's some work so i just needed a break but just to let you know what's coming next, I do owe you a video on my CT scan because, you know, my doctor, she is a doozy, but <laughs> I will let you know what, um, what my CT scan said. My heart, t my cardiac, what was it, Cardi? What the crap? I can't remember the name of the darn thing, but I did write it up. See, I wrote it up. I'm so proud of myself. The CT cardiac scan score updates. Let's see, I wrote it up. I did. I just haven't done the video yet. Wrote it up weeks ago. <laughs> But um, yeah, so the CT cardiac scan score update is coming. So I can let y'all know what's going on with that. And um, if you um, have not subscribed, please, please subscribe. I have this goal and it's not even a goal that I need to have, but I felt like I should have a goal for my channel. So I'm just trying to get to a thousand subscribers. Um, each month it keeps ticking up, which is good, you know, slowly but steady, you know, it's going up, but it would be nice to see it head to a thousand. There's so many people that don't subscribe, but they always come back and watch the videos. Subscribe. So at least if you subscribe, you know what's going on. Please. <laughs> but I also have another video coming too, and I have the stuff on this desk, so I'll probably you'll see the same shirt because I think I'm gonna just do it now. And it's on some other things that I found that I have started eating that I really like, and that's like ultra healthy and good for you and tastes good, at least to me. So anyway, it's all coming, but um, I hope you all have a great weekend um, and I will talk to you later. Bye.